Chelsea Clinton appointed to the board of Expedia Travel Company. Her mom Hillary Clinton didn't team make it to the White House, and hubby Mark Mesvinsky has just shuttered his hedge fund. What s a girl to do? Expedia answered that question for Chelsea Clinton Friday by appointing her to its board. The online travel giant had to increase the number of its directors from 13 to 14 in order to accommodate Clinton, according to securities filings. But with 54% of its voting shares, Expedia's chairman billionaire Barry Diller has the clout to do it. By bringing the 37 year old daughter of a former president and a near president aboard, Diller was simply reprising the role he played in appointing Clinton to the board of IAC Interactive four years ago, where he was and still is chairman. Of course, the future looked brighter for the Clintons back then, and so Diller deserves kudos for showing lasting loyalty. The filing didn't he go into what Clinton will do for Expedia, except to say she will be rewarded in accordance with the company's standard compensation policies. The most recent Expedia proxy puts that compensation at $295,000, consisting of a $45,000 cash retainer and $250,000 in trade restricted stock. That s just shy of Clinton s $299,936 compensation $50,000 cash and $249,936 in stock for sitting on IAC's board. And while the two gigs promise plenty of coin for only a handful of meetings, bear in mind the post pegged Clinton a million dollar baby two years ago. She has since given up a few stints most notably a $600,000 salary for being a special NBC correspondent. Meantime, Hillary Clinton says she s ready to come out of the woods and help Americans find common ground. Clinton's gradual return to the spotlight following her presidential election loss continued with a St. Patrick S. Day speech in her late father's Pennsylvania hometown of Scranton. I am like a lot of my friends right now. I have a hard time watching the news, comma, Clinton told an Irish women's group. Clinton, who was spotted taking a walk in the woods around her hometown of Champaqua, New York, two days after losing the election to Donald Trump, quipped she had wanted to stay in the woods but you can only do so much of that. She told the Society of Irish Women it will be up to citizens, not a deeply polarized Washington, to bridge the political divide. I am ready to come out of the woods and to help shine a light on what is already happening around kitchen tables, at dinners like this, to help draw strength that will enable everybody to keep going, said Clinton. Clinton, 